Hello guys, in this video I want to show you one example why setting the return type for the functions may be beneficial. It is optional of course in PHP, not everyone is doing that and I am doing that from time to time myself, I admit not always, but sometimes it can really save your time. So for example, let's imagine you don't have that return type, which is fine, the code will be working and then in the controller for example you load that post with loading relationship user or maybe in the list of posts you would have post with user get and then in the blade you want to show the post with title and with post username. You load that page and you see the error call to a member function add eager constraints on null. So on this specific line you have some kind of error but that error isn't really clear. What do you mean eager constraint? What exactly is null? Is the post null? It seems to be in the database and the error of that causing of that error is that in the relationship, for those of you who haven't noticed yet, we don't return anything. But the relationship function expects us to return. So if we do return, then we refresh the page and the page works. And that's kind of a silly mistake I've been doing myself time and time again in the very beginning of my Laravel career constantly forgetting the return. Just quickly typing the relationship, this belongs to or this has many and forgetting the return. So to avoid that mistake, for example, we leave the error, but we add return type of belongs to and then we refresh the page, refresh, the error is different. It still has an error, but it's absolutely clear. Post user return value must be belongs to none returned and then it points not to the controller but to the actual model to exactly this line and then you go oh of course it should be returned and then you refresh and it works. And this video is actually inspired by a tweet by the Laravel dev. I didn't want to show that in the beginning of this video to not spoil the actual solution and the problem but this is exactly the point. If you have belongs to you avoid silly mistakes like this and also it helps with static analysis. So if you use static analysis tools like PHP stan or Lara stan or others they would point that something is wrong in that method. And if you don't know what static analysis is and what are the tools and how it is useful in one of my courses called Solid Code in Laravel, in one of the lessons, after discussing all the principles, at the very end I have a 22 minute long video about static analysis tools, Laristan, PHP Insights and PHP Metrics. So you can watch that, I will link the course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.